And today we're going to be in Psalm 19. It'll be eight, the, the eighth of our messages in the Psalm series. This is a wonderful psalm. If you haven't read it before, please get out your Bibles and follow along now. So let's go ahead and we can open our Bibles and follow along anyway, even if we're very familiar with the psalm, it is always helpful to see the context. And uh, also there's a note sheet that uh, we passed out for the people here and that you can find in the website of uh, the app as well. You'll have a spot for the notes for the message uh, for the verses we reference. So stay, so no atua mo minani kokunia de sharu katani mo ichimai o watashimashita so no memo no koto noto no koto desu keridomo so dewa mo website o toshite miru koto mo dekimasu. Zehi goran kudesai. So, kano shihen ju kyu hen wa mo sugoku yumei ne shihen de C.S. Lewis mo daisuki ne shihen de shita. C.S. Lewis wa kore ni kanshite ko iwarimashita. Watashi wa kore o shihen de saiko no shi de ari sekai de saiko no shi no hitotsu de aru to kengaete imasu. So, C.S. Lewis also said concerning Psalm 19, I take this to be the greatest poem in the Psalter and one of the greatest lyrics in the whole world. Well, that's high praise from a famous author, uh, academic, and uh, scholar C.S. Lewis. It's a very famous uh, man, it's very high praise from him. So, Kore wa yumei na C.S. Lewis, saksha de atte, mo kyoju de atte, sugoku yumei na hito desu kere demo, kono shihen jukyu hi no. Uh, so, we want to look at this psalm, but before we do, let's back up and look at sort of the big picture a little bit. Now, I think there are two books that teach us about God. When I say two books, you know, some people are going to be kind of surprised. They say, well, what do you mean two books? The first, of course, is the written word of God, the Bible. But I think we should also look at nature as being like a second book that tells us about God. So as we look at those, we see the Bible we consider to be God's special revelation. It's got a lot of detail. It's got names and sometimes dates. It's got places. It tells us very uh, detailed information about the history, about mankind learning about God and about what God has done for us, uh, both in the Old Testament and through Christ in the New Testament and the early church. So that's special revelation. But we know that not everybody has a Bible. Of course, even in our day, there are places where you can't get a Bible. Uh, 
もう長年の歴史何百年何千年も経ってもう場所によって人々は聖書のことを聞いたことのないところが多いです。And of course, even today, there are places where it's hard to get a Bible because maybe the government has prohibited or something in some places. But also, if we look at history over the hundreds and thousands of years, there's been many places where you could not get a Bible or maybe you'd never even heard that there was such a thing. So, how does everybody else hear about God if they don't have a Bible? So, you say, Bo seisho motte inai kata to shitara kami sama no koto do wakaru de shou ka? So, she's in the house. Well, that brings us to general revelation. If you can't get a Bible, if you're in a place where you don't have access to it, you can still learn about God through general revelation, which is the revelation of God that's found in nature, in the things that God has created. 神様が想像された物事で、私たちはそれを見て、神様に関してたくさんの情報を学べるでしょう。Of course, it's not as detailed or precise as the written word. もちろん、一般掲示は、もう書かれた見言葉と同じように、詳細がはっきりあらさ示されたわけはないし、場所とか、そのようなことは、人の名前とか、もう自然の中に記録されていないです。でも、神様のことをたくさん語らり、教えてくれますね。この聖書でも、自然界でも、それを通して神様のことを学びたいと思うときに、一見ですぐわかることがあるし、もう深く勉強しないとわからないこともたくさんあります。<咳>聖書を開いて、もうどこに開いたかによって、神様に関して大きな誤解あしてしまうところもありますね。それとも神様のことをはっきりとされているところもあります。大自然を見たら、もうこの星、この山、川、海を見ると、その生き物を見ると、どのように解釈することによって神様のことを教えてくれるか、それとも大間違いになってしまう場合もあります。それでもう聖書も自然界も解釈する必要があります。よく考えて、これを通して神様のことは何が教えられているかと深く変えるんです。So whether we're looking at the Bible or at nature, it's also necessary to think deeply and to consider what it really means and what it tells us about God so that we can learn without making mistakes. We have to interpret nature and the Bible. Now it, today we're going to look at Psalm 19. We'll see the first part of Psalm 19 speaks about this book of nature. And the second part speaks about God's written law. And that's why I introduced it this way. So as we read Psalm 19, we'll actually find there are three parts. The first part about nature, the second part about God's written law, and the third part will be a prayer by David at the end of it. この詩編19編を見ると、この最初の一部は、その大自然を通して神様のことを教えていることに関して書かれているのです。そして第二部に入ると、それは、立法、神の立法、御言葉のことを称賛するところとなります。第三はダブルのお祈りのところですね。さあ、まあ、その最初の方に飛び込みましょう。Let's jump into the first part.、Uh, but first, let's remember. でも、まずちょっと覚えておきたいことです。この前にもこれを見ましたが、We looked at this before, but we want to remember whenever we go to the Psalms that they're poetry, Hebrew poetry, and often the meaning is not literal. Psalms use simile, metaphor, allegory, personification, etc., all the tools of the poet. Okuno baai, imi wa moji dori de wa arimasen, shihin no naka. Shihin wa shibe shiba, ruiji, hiyu, tatoi, kijin ka nado o shio shite imas. Tsumari, このダビデはこの詩の書いた時に詩人として詩人にある
、あ,あらゆる道具を使っていることもありますね。その意味を伝えるために、その気持ちを伝えるためですね。それで、何が、もう、詩的のこと、何が文字通りのことを識別しないといけないです。So we always have to discern between what is literally、uh, meant and what the poetic Uh, part of it is, or whether a particular part of the Bible is literal or poetic. We need discernment to tell the difference. So, here's the beginning of the psalm. Shien no hajime desu ne. And we first have like a little title for the director of music, a psalm of David. Well, this tells us that it's of David, and this also tells us that this was used in the temple worship because the, where do you have a director of music? You have a director of music. Where you have a large group worshiping together, that was the temple in that time. So, first, the Shikisha Niyote Sanka David no Shi to Arimas. This is David no Shi de Arukoto o Shiete Iru Shi. So, the Shinden no Rei Hai de Shi o Sarete Koto mo o Shiete Imas. So, Shikisha wa mo Kojin teki no Rei Hai no Toki, Kojin teki no Inori no Toki, Yere nai Shikisha desu ne. So, the Oyake no Rei Hai. つまり、新年のことですね。さしています。Okay, then we get into the psalm itself. The heavens declare the glory of God, the skies proclaim the work of his hands. 天は神の栄光を物語り、大空は見ての技を示す。So, これは前に学んだことですけども、平行法がありますね。ヘブライ語の詩に。それは二つの行に、同じように意味が書かれていて表しています。そこでは、天と大空は似ているし、物語と示すは同じような意味になります。So, here we see that we have that same parallelism that we talked about before, which is a characteristic of Hebrew poetry, that two lines say something very similar. They're almost synonymous, maybe a little different. And here we see that the heavens and the skies go together as the same meaning here. And also declare and proclaim are the same meaning. The rest of it's a little bit different. So we have that parallel structure of Hebrew poetry. And since that's in parallel, we understand, you know, when it says heavens here, it's not talking about the eternal heaven where God lives. It's talking about the heavens that we see when we look up at the day or night sky. So, stay tendo o zore wa mo heiko ni natte imas kara, kono tokoro wa mo tengoku no koto o shimeshite jinakte. この点は大空のことを示しています。昼の空、夜の空ですね。夜空です。So, この素晴らしい言葉が書かれています。その点は神の栄光を物語り。つまり私たちはもう目を見上げて、青空でもその曇っている空でも星空でも全部は神様のことを神様の栄光を示してくださるのです。You see here this idea that the psalmist is picking up, the heavens declare the glory of God. So whether we're looking up at the blue skies or the cloudy skies or the star-filled night skies, we can see something of the glory of God in what we're looking at. So here's a, a picture of、uh, the stars in the Milky Way. これは星と天の川の写真ですね。とても綺麗でしょう。This is really pretty, I think, right? とても美しいものでしょう。Very, very pretty. Now, how many of you have seen a sky like this? この世の夜空を見たことがありますかああ、少ないですね。それは残念です。本当に。本当に残念です。これを見たことがないこと。私はもう、ミズリ州で育てられたときに、毎晩この世の空、を見ていましてね。もう農家育ちでしたから、とても田舎の方であって、東海のもう署名はなかったので、このような空をよく見ました。When I was a child growing up in Missouri, you know, I could go out and see this sort of thing all the time in the evening because we were out in the country on a little farm, you know, away from the city lights and everything. And very often, you know, on a clear night, this is what the sky looked like, and it's just beautiful. とても美しいです。これを見るたびに私たち、私はいつも神様の栄光を
感じました。深く感じたことがありました。And every time I would go out and look at this, I would just feel the glory of God. It's, it's almost a sensation you can feel because it's just so extraordinary looking. すごく驚くべきの美しさがあって、もう神様のおっしゃるところと感じますね。Now, when we look at this, we learn, you know, how vast God's creation is. We learn how beautiful God's creation is. We learn how far above us God is. And who could make this sort of creation? So, you know, 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 So, これはもう現代の科学者たちに尋ねると、多くの人は、ビッグバンがあって、そこから全てはもう広がって、このようになったということになります。その話。正しいかもしれません。そこまで。でも、これはもう誰がこれを考えて、誰がこの過程を、始まったかとか説明していない。そう、ビッグバンクは何かもう意味があることじゃなくて、過程を説明することだけですね。It's just process, 過程です。誰がこれをされたか、何のためにこれをされたかとか、それを理解するために、私たちは神様のことを見ないといけないですね。子供の頃も今でも雲の形を見て何があるかと想像したことがありますか ?When you're a child or even now, do you ever look up the clouds? You say, oh, what kind of shape is that? You know,、uh, like this cloud. What do you imagine when you look at this? 何を想像しますかこれを見ると。<laughs> 誰でも。Anybody? Online, you want to type in comments, you know? Online chat で返事ができます。ご希望だな。<laughs> Does anybody want to take a shot? What do you see? 何を、uh, Cow? Okay, it's a face? Maybe? <laughs> yeah, I see a puppy dog. 自分は子犬だと思います。でも私は子犬は逃げていますね。それで逃げているので、これは尻尾、これは耳ですね。もううる姿を見ますから。I see a puppy dog when I look at this. Here's, here's the tail, and he's going away from us. So that's his ears sticking away, and he's going away. 違いますか<笑> ?You think that's right? <笑>正しいかどうかは関係ないですね。<笑>人の想像からです。アミバ、アミバとオンラインで聞きました。<笑> uh, you know, this is a matter of opinion and, and of our imagination, so there's no right answer. But when we start to imagine and to think these things, we're showing that we're created in God's image. 私たちはこのように想像して、このように考えると、人間は神様の形に活動して作られたと示しています。つまり、もう、他のあ生き物、動物とか、これを見て想像することはないです。この想像力は神様があ持っていらっしゃるし、人間は神様の形に活動って作られてね、人々はこの想像力があるんですね。So we use our imagination, we show that we're creating God's image because the, the animals, other living things, they don't have this kind of imagination at all as far as we've ever been able to tell. 
So back to the psalm, Shini Mororimas. Day after day they pour forth speech. Night after night they display knowledge. Hiru wa hiru ni katari tsutai. Yoru wa yoru ni chishiki wo okuru. Sukori de ten wa kami no eiko ni tsuite katate kureru to arimasu. So this is the heavens are speaking of God's glory. Night and day, hiru mo yoru mo. So when we look at the heavens, when we look up at the sky, or we look around at nature, mo me o agate sora o miru tabi ni, sori to mo shizu ni haite, sono yonu mono o miru tabi ni, tashi tashi wa kami sama na eiko wa misarite iru ka dou ka o kangairu no desu. Kore wa nani o watashi ni katate kureru de shou ka. They go, what does this say about God's glory? What is this saying to me? So let's try again. これを見ると、何を語ってくれる,れると思いますか What do you think this tells us? Lightning, inazuma, 何を教えてくれる Well, I thought maybe this speaks of God's power. これは神様の力を語っているかなと私は思いました。But it's also very beautiful. でも美しいということも示されています。It's a little scary. ちょっと怖いでしょ。<laughs> Lightning like this can be quite exciting. 興奮になりますかこの世の中。<laughs> How about this? 虹はどう思いますか虹を見るたびに何を想像しますか何を聞こえますかそれを通して神様に対して。How about a rainbow? When, when you see a rainbow, you know, What do you see? What do you feel? What does it teach you about God? Well, I looked, I thought, you know, a rainbow is so beautiful. I think it speaks of God's love. You know, that was me. But the Bible it tells us this also is a symbol of God's promise to us. So, one thing can have many meanings. 一つのものにいろいろ意味があるかもしれません。There is no speech or language where their voice is not heard. Their voice goes out into all the earth, their words to the end of the world, ends of the world. 話すことも語ることもなく。声は,声声は聞こえなくてもその響きは全地に。その言葉は世界の果てに向かおう。さあ、この自然の世界は語ってくれるわ。でも実は声はない。もう指摘の意味でいろいろ話せるんですけど。でも聖書の特別刑事、聖書と違って、自然は全ての人間が見えるものですね。都会の中はちょっと難しいでも、都会の中でも公園とかあります。You know, the, differently than the special revelation of the Bible, the general revelation of nature is available to all people. Even in the city, although it's harder in the city, maybe you have to go to a park or something, but even in the city, we're not that far from seeing something of nature. And all of nature speaks to us about God. 自然世界はすべて神様について教えてくれるのです。So even if you're out in the desert all alone, sabishi toku ni te sabaku no nake hitori ni iru to, shizen wa katate kureru no desu. Nature can speak to you. So shizen wa subete no hito ni katari kakiru no desu. We just have to think about the meaning. It's, nature speaks to all people, but we have to think about what does it mean? What does it tell us about God? Kami sama ni tsuiti nani o oshiete kureru ka? I like this photo. She's all alone in the desert. There can't be alone. There's got to be a photographer to take the picture, right? <laughs> Unless she took a A tripod with her. 
Well, it tells us in Romans 10, 17, and 18, Consequently, faith comes from hearing the message, and the message is heard through the word of Christ. But I ask, did they not hear? Of course they did. Their voice has gone out into all the earth, their words to the ends of the world. You should recognize that last part. Of it. We just read it in Psalm 19. And here Paul, writing to the church in Rome, he's quoting from Psalm 19. And he's telling us that... Uh, Everyone has had the opportunity to hear. And he's also telling us that people are responsible to respond to the message of God in nature. Otherwise, hearing wouldn't mean anything in this context. So, これはローマの詩と絵の手紙ですね。10章17節18節。実に進行は聞くことにより、しかも、クリストの言葉を聞くことによって始まるのです。それでは、尋ねよう。彼らは聞いたことがなかったのだろうか。もちろん聞いたのです。その声は、全身に響き渡り、その言葉は、世界の果てにまで及ぶのです。So、これを見て、この人、パウロは、この詩編19編を引用して、人間、人々はすべて神様の声、神様について聞いたことがあります。聖書を持っていなくても大自然から聞くことができますから。そして、この詩編19編はすべての人が自然を通して神の声を聞こえると明らかにされますが、パールは人々がその声に応える責任があることをはっきりと示しました。つまり、神様は聖書を持っていない人に大自然世界を通して声をかけてくれると、その人の心にそれに応える責任があって、それに応える人に,人に神様はもっと啓示を与えてくださるでしょう。So, Psalm 19 made it clear that all people hear God through nature, and I think Paul makes it clear that people are responsible、uh, to respond to what God has said, spoken to them through nature. So, somebody who, who doesn't have a Bible, doesn't have the special revelation of God, If they see nature and they understand this is God speaking to them and they respond to that in their hearts, I think God will find a way to give them more revelation. I don't think God will leave them hanging because Paul says they're responsible to respond. Psalm 19,、uh, back to the psalm. In the heavens, he, and that's God, has pitched a tent for the sun, which is like a bridegroom coming forth from his pavilion, like a champion rejoicing to run his course. そこに神は太陽の幕が設けられた。太陽は、花婿が天外から出るように、勇士が喜び悼んで道を走るように。Wow! <laughs> wow! It's like a champion running the course, you know? It's、uh, something, the sun coming up. But what do we see here? We see here that God is the creator and ruler over all. You know, some people in cultures have made the mistake of like worshiping the sun or the stars. But here, the, God created the sun and then He created a place for the sun to be. He made a tent for the sun, which is the sky. Obviously, in poetic language. She taking a kotoba ni nari maskeri demo, kore o mite, kame wa bambuts no sozo no nushi de ari, sbete o shi hai sari de to wa karimas. Tsumari, mo bunka ni yote de kishi no naki ni oka no hito wa. もうその太陽を拝んだことがあるとか、そのようなことがありましたけれども、神様は太陽をお作りになったことだけじゃなくて、太陽を住むところを用意して、幕屋を設けてくれました、太陽のために。それは空となります。指摘の言葉で。天の果てを入れ立ち、天の果てを目指してゆく、その熱から、It rises at one end of the heavens and makes its circuit to the other. Nothing is hidden from its sight, or from its heat in this case. 
Now we have to remember David speaking poetically, uh, not scientifically here. He's, ex he's describing it as a person standing, watching would see. He's not trying to get a, a scientific explanation of how the sun moves because the sun doesn't move, it rises because the earth rotates, right? We know that. But David's not trying to give a scientific explanation. He's a poet. Does the cycle of the sun speak of God's providence? You know, we look at the cycle of the sun, we wonder, what does it tell us about God? And I thought, well, it tells us about God's providence, how he provides everything we need. ま、so, you know, where we see shortages or we don't have enough of things, you know, this isn't because there isn't enough in the world. God has provided all we need. It's because of our poor management of resources, whether it's governments or individuals. If we took proper care of everything, there's plenty for everybody of all the things we need. So, so that's the end of part one of the psalm, and now we're going to go into part two of the psalm. And we should remember as we do that that David didn't have the Bible we have. You know, he lived long ago, so he only had the books of Moses and a few other books of the Bible. When he speaks of the law of God, he's referring mostly to the books of Moses because that's what he had. Uh, so David so this is the beginning of Genesis in Hebrew. It's a piece of the Dead Sea Scrolls that were found. So kono shahan wa no nisenin ijo mai ni dekta shahon desu ne utsushite shahon desu. So this uh, this scroll here that we see a piece of was written more than 2,000 years ago since it's part of the Dead Sea Scrolls. You know, it's just a little piece. But somebody hand wrote that out over 2,000 years ago. But the words of Genesis are much older, perhaps as much as 3,500 years old. So with that context, you know that David is thinking of the Hebrew and he's only got a part of the Bible. Let's go ahead and read the rest of the psalm. So David loved the law. The law of the Lord is perfect, reviving the soul. The statutes of the Lord are trustworthy, making wise the simple. Shinjitsu 
これでダビデは立法に関してそれは完全、真実、力強いと話しています。So David is saying that the law of the Lord is perfect and trustworthy and powerful. It has power to make the wise, it has power to make the simple wise, making the wise, making wise the simple. It has power to revive the soul. We need our souls revived, right? Who needs their soul revived? Wow, we need that. ダビデはこの立法は完全、真実、力強いと言って、どれぐらいの力があるかと言いますと、無知の人々に血を与えるという力があって、また魂を生き返らせてくださる力があって、ああ、それが必要でしょう、私たちには。もう、魂を生き返らせていただきたい方いらっしゃいますか毎日でしょうね。それは毎日の。希望お祈りですね。さあ、立法の中にその力があるとダブルは語っています。主の命令はまっすぐで心に喜びを与え、主の戒めは清らかで、目に光を与える。The precepts of the Lord are right, giving joy to the heart. The commands of the Lord are radiant, giving light to the eyes. Amen. 読み続きます。Let's just keep reading. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The ordinance of the Lord are sure and altogether righteous. 主へのおそれは清くいつまでも続き。主の裁きはまことでことごとく正しい。金にまさり、多くの純金にまさって望ましく。三つよりも八の数のしてたりよりも甘い。They are more precious than gold, than much pure gold. They are sweeter than honey, than honey from the comb. So David says the law is more precious than gold, more precious than much pure gold, because it gives him wisdom and it revives his soul. ダビデはこの立法は金、多くの純金よりまさしていると語っています。なぜかと言いますと、その立法には力がある。その魂を生き返らせて力がある。知恵があります。So, wisdom is far more important than gold. 知恵は金よりも金よりもとても大事でしょう。By them is your servant warned, in keeping them there is great reward. あなたのしもべはそれらのことを熟慮し、それらを守って大きな報いを受けます。Amen. So this is, we just kind of read through it to give you the flavor of it, but you can look at it and meditate on it. Think of it carefully more later. The section、uh, that speaks of the law here. リポに関しての二部は私たちはもうちょっと早く読んできましたけれども後でゆっくり読んで深く考えてみてください大きな祝福があると思います19編全体に次はダビデのお祈りのところに入ります And next we're going to come into the part that's really a prayer of David It's got a lot to teach us 教えてくれることが多いと思いますダビデは神の名を知っているんですね。ダビデはもう何だったかわからなくても自分には何か隠れた罪、隠れた過ちがあると分かっていました。私たちもそうでしょう。気づいていないところに私たちは間違いしてしまうこともあります。We're the same as David. You know, we have places we haven't even noticed yet where we're wrong, where we've made mistakes. And we need God to show us those. 神様にそれを教えてくれるように
in order to know this. Keep your servant also from willful sins. May they not rule over me. This is the sins that David knows he's done, the things that he knew they were wrong when he did them. They're willful. So he's got to be protected from his hidden sins and from his willful sins. Then will I be blameless, innocent of great transgression. これは正しくないと分かっているのに、してしまうことがあるでしょう。ダブルと同じように、その罪からも解放していただき、その確率罪からも解放していただけないといけないですね。そうすれば、思いそむきの罪から清められ、私は完全になるでしょう。Amen. So, David asks, you know, that may they not rule over me, may sins not rule over me. And we have to ask, you know, are we ruled by our sins? David wa hoinori de shihai saranai yo ni shite ikurusai to inotta. Tas tachi mo kikinai to ikinai desu ne. Tsumi ni shihai sarete imasu ka? Jibun no kokoro yoku mitte kangairu no desu. Fukaku miru no desu. Inori nagara. We also have to take a deep look inside, you know, at our own hearts and say, are we ruled by sin, you know, or do we need to ask God for help? Kamisame no taske o nagai no And David asked for God's help. David wa David no taske o motomete imasu. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight. O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Doka watashi no kuchi no kotoba ga mi mune ni kanai koku no omoi ga mi mai ni okari masyo ni shio watashi no iwo watashi no aganai no shio. Amen. It's interesting that David says, "My Lord and my Redeemer." That word is really interesting, my Redeemer, because who is our Redeemer? Christ Jesus is our Redeemer. You know, he's the one who died on the cross for us, who rose again, who redeems us from our sin. これはダビデは贖い主という言葉を使った言葉、とても興味深いです。私たちの贖い主は誰でしょうか。イエスキリストは十字架上で身代わりになって死んでくださって私たちに罪の許しを与えてくださいました。それは贖う。So David is like foreshadowing this work of redemption of the cross even hundreds of years before Christ. Now, one thing we have to remember when we're studying the Old Testament, studying the Psalms, is that although we can learn so much from them, we are not under the law of Moses. We're not under the Old Testament law when we trust in Christ. もう、もう、so we're in the New Testament, so we're under the law of Christ, not the Old Testament law. Galatians 6 speaks of this in verse 2. It says, Carry each other's burdens, and in this way you will fulfill the law of Christ. 
Garatae no shinto in the Tagame Doksho ni Setwa, Kodini can stake tati mas. Tagai ni omonio ni nai nasai. Sono yo ni stake koso. Christo no dipo o mato surkotini naruno des. So do wa mo tagai no omonio ni nao kotua mo mori no hitabito kyodai shimai o ai surkoto. Dinji no ai surkoto des. So we're under the law of Christ. And here, it's paired here with the idea of carrying each other's burdens. Well, what is that? That's loving one another. Carrying each other burdens to help you is loving one another. So the law of Christ has to do with love, and it's the love of God, the love of neighbor, the love of our brothers and sisters. You know, so it's the law of love is the law of Christ. And it's the law of grace and mercy through faith, through faith in Christ by which we receive forgiveness of sins and uh, uh, eternal life in Christ. So the law of Christ, the law of love. The moon has no light of its own, but it beautifully reflects the light of the sun. So this is a picture of how we also, we have no light in ourselves. But when we walk with Christ, we trust in Christ, we reflect his light as the moon reflects the light of the sun. Second Corinthians uh, chapter 3, verse 18, and we'll close with this. Saigo ni kudento no dai ni sancho juhasets. And we who with unveiled faces all reflect the Lord's glory are being transformed into his likeness with ever increasing glory, which comes from the Lord, who is the Spirit. Taz tachi wa mina kao no osoi o. の図鑑でかがめのように主の栄光を映し出しながら栄光から栄光へと主と同じ姿に作り変えられていきますそれは主の霊の働きによることです私たちは栄光から栄光へと主と同じ姿に作り変えられていきますそれは大きな祝福、大きな約束です。Amen. We are being transformed into His likeness, the likeness of Christ, with ever-increasing glory. That's a wonderful promise. Amen. Amen. Let's pray.